So I'm painting my Grey Knight Razor back here, and it's generally going okay, but there is something that is really bugging me, and that is the bluing on the hull. Uh, getting a smooth transition between the blue and Grey Knight Silver has always eluded me. It's kind of okay here. Uh, you can barely see it's very light, but it's kind of okay. But other times, it just, you can clearly see the line. There's very little gradation, there's very little gradient, and that has bugged the crap out of me. So I'm gonna try stippling, see if we can't get a smoother gradient. I've got a 40 millimeter base here. I just based it uh, with a brush with Vallejo uh, acrylic metal, metal, metal color, uh, dark aluminum. This is really cool. And it's, uh, if you have Citadel, Lead Belcher is a really close match. And then I blued it with just a teeny tiny bit of Liquitex uh, acrylic ink. This is Prussian blue and you get this. You mix it up a little bit. It's very, very blue and um, it's strong stuff, but it looks great. And if you have uh, Citadel's Grey Knight Steel, this is pretty close, but uh, I'm gonna try stippling to see if I can't get a smoother gradient. And the idea is to have a smoother transition from blued steel to regular steel. And so far, I just haven't gotten that. You know, there's always that line between the blue and the steel, and it just looks like, well, someone just painted a line of blue on steel. It looks bad, I think. So I am gonna try to make it better. I've got just a cheap synthetic brush here. This one came in a pack of like five or six from Daiso for a buck 75. So great brush to experiment. And stippling is just kind of a, I don't know, kind of a, poking motion almost. We'll see how that works. And what I'm gonna do is start at the bottom where it's gonna be the heaviest and then just slowly move up. We'll see how that goes. The catch is this mixture on the wet palette needs to be stirred up every so often or it uh, kind of separates a little bit and you get a darker color. Also note with the Vallejo Metal Color Dark Aluminum, it's a great color, but it looks fairly different uh, if you spray it, you know, like with an airbrush versus drawing with it by hand. So, and we wanna be aware of where our brush winds up because wherever your brush comes off the piece, that's where you're gonna get the most pigmented. That's where it's gonna leave the most. And so far, I call me crazy, I don't think I'm doing this right. Or maybe just I'm being too impatient. But I'm gonna try moving down a little bit, adding more. But clearly something is kind of wrong here. Yeah, this is not turning out as I intended, but I understand the good thing about it is that if you have the base color handy, which I do, you can just go back in and use that to kind of smooth things out. Ah, now here we go. Here we go. Now we're starting to get a bit more of a transition from silver to blue. Okay, Let's see if I can get a little bit more towards the top here. See, not bad, not bad. And I know stippling is probably not something you wanna do a whole lot of uh, when you're like doing competition painting or whatever, but you know, it can be kind of a, uh, well, it's certainly been a learning experience for me. I mean, this is far and away the smoothest gradient I've ever gotten.